in the beat before the one I just made, I was doing things like trying to use somebody else's MIDI, someone's more sophisticated, more well put together MIDI that I was not at the level of making a melody like that. And doing this sort of thing is like learning to run before you walk. It's the same sort of philosophy that you have. Like if you want to run faster, you train your brain to run faster by running down a hill with as few steps as possible. So long, long leaps, basically. And you do it safely. You land, you know, on your toes. You uh, land with the cushioning of your the, the eccentric contraction of your calves rather than landing on your heels so it doesn't impact your knees in that way. And by running downhill at full speed, you'll actually be running faster than you're capable of running like naturally on a flat plane. And by doing that, you'll strengthen the neural connections needed to understand, to, to, to have an implicit understanding, a body understanding of muscle memory on how to run faster than you're already running. Um, this is like a little shortcut. You don't actually need to run faster to develop, to develop the neural connections. You can develop the neural connections, work out legs hella big time, and then also work out upper body because you need upper body strength to run. And um, that should do wonders for you. So it's kind of like that same mentality. You want to learn to run fast? Run downhill. It's not safe. Um, and there's risk involved. So, you know, take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. But if you want to learn how to make MIDI, you want to learn how to make melodies, use somebody else's far more sophisticated MIDI than yours and um, try to go toe to toe with that. Every single beat that I made up until this point, except for like a couple, I've been like pushing the boundaries of what I'm capable of doing. It's been super fun. However, this is already a pretty solid beat. I honestly don't think I can push myself much further without it going to the, into the territory of it being boring and meticulous work. And like, the whole reason that I made that melody myself was just to prove to myself that I don't need to use loops. It was to prove to everyone else that nobody needs to use loops. But now that I've proven that point, I don't see a reason for me to keep doing this mentally taxing process. It took me like four hours to make that melody. 